If you missed the vice presidential debate last night, you might have actually done yourself a favor. And here's why. Today, an Atlanta Journal-Constitution political reporter, Greg Bluestein, spoke about the vice presidential debate at the McGill Symposium. I talked to him after the lecture and asked him what he thought about the vice presidential debate. I don't think this debate was a game changer. I think that it, what it did help was it helped Trump slow the narrative. The narrative going into the weekend was sliding poll numbers after the, his, his, his loss to Hillary Clinton in the first debate. And it seemed like the conversation on Twitter went basically the same way. Some people saying that the debate was boring. Others saying that TV editors are scrambling to find highlight moments just to show. And Southern political expert Charles Bullock agrees, saying that the vice presidential debate really didn't have a lot to offer undecided voters. This is an opportunity for voters to maybe get a fix on the two vice presidential candidates. Now, they have not been campaigning for years as both Trump and Hillary Clinton have. So you know, they aren't as well known outside their, their home states. Um, so, you know, this person could, could look at this debate last night and come away and say, yeah, I think I have a bit of a feel for, for these two individuals. The VP debate may not have had a lot to offer, but you definitely want to tune in to the presidential debate this Sunday. Emily Boyer, Grady News Source.